Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Mutual excellence has defined this rivalry. Oklahoma and Texas, the Sooners and the Longhorns, as the intensity starts to build. Part of the stadium in crimson, the other in burnt orange. The Red River rivalry. Hostilities about to commence. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA College Football Action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams have sent their special teams onto the field and we're ready for the opening kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. At the 30. Oh, it's the kicker that comes up with a tackle. You got to love opening the game with a solid kick return like this. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Heads up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. From their own 37-yard line, it's second down. Down the 40-yard line. And he 
converts the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. He's pushed out of bounds at the 29 yard line. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change the game plan. Fires it out. He's taken down at the 37. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. Second and two. Ball on the 37. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. two-yard line. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 22. Here we go. play call here that really played to their offensive strengths. That's knowing your personnel. Here's play number 10 on the drive. to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Badgers come into today's game ranked 16th in the nation. Here's a hotly contested battle. Wisconsin with the lead, 3-0. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. 
Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday night. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And he's level. It's the 31. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 31. Tackles him hard. It's a 33 yard line. Throw 
Throws it out there. The junior makes the catch. And they push him out at the six. And this play is number eight on the drive. Comes the kicker. Trying to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. So that's an eight play, 75 yard drive. And it's good for seven points. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that. We're deadlocked right now at 14. I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer, and that's exactly what we just saw. One team scores a touchdown, the other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. For the last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. Just throw this one away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From their own 25-yard line, second down. to the 40. Knocked out of bounds around the 45 yard line. Second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. He's wrapped up for the sack. Mims is the deep man awaiting the return. He's out to the 30. He makes it out to maybe the 33 yard line. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Second and ten. Ball on the 33-yard line. Throws in a hurry. Hey, that's a heads-up play there by the defender. 
Get those hands up and something good may just happen. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He's under some heat. Now he's scrambling. Runs with it, and he's got room. He's at midfield. He's out of bounds at the 49. First and ten. Ball in the 49. From the 21 yard line. First down. Fires out to his wider. Dives for extra yardage. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. He's taken down just outside the goal line. is getting set to go for it. Oklahoma's going to take their first time out of the hat. arrive at today's game ranked 16th in the nation. Let's take yet another peek at this game. The Badgers rushing attack can be difficult to stop and they get into the end zone for a touchdown. The Badgers are on top 10-7. Reese a touchdown difference in this one 21-14. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. Now, with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Run for the corner. Runs it right. Nice pickup. From their own 
29 yard line. It's second down. He's on the run. And he has a huge game. And I like the decision making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees some green in front of him. And he takes off. Ends up with a great run. Send guys from everywhere to get to this quarterback. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Zips it to the tight end. And they make the stop around the 23 yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. On the throw, incomplete pass. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped down on them. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Kicks up. And it is good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickback. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 10. He's to the 20. Across the 30. Across midfield. 30. The 10. He returns it all the way to score. What a big time return for that young man. Davis in the studio. The Badgers enter today's game ranked number 16 in the country, and hoping a big win would send them soaring up the rankings. This is a game we've been watching closely today. Back and forth these two teams go, neither one giving an inch. We could be headed to a photo finish. Wisconsin with the lead, 13-7. And we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. Johnson's Oklahoma is lining up to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And they can forget about returning this one. The Longhorns know, I think, that at some point they just have to do what they do, even if it's not working right now. If they can get it going in the second half, it should really improve the ball game in the offense. Well, the offensive line, I think, also has to be accountable here. 
Uh, we look so much to our star players, and we always want them to put up big numbers. But to me, the two go hand in hand. When a running back's going to have a great game, the offensive line deserves some credit. When a running back's struggling, you got to look at that offensive line and say, fellas, you got to help me out. We're not going to change and deviate from this game plan. We need to be able to change this game around, and it starts up front with the offensive line. That makes it second and ten. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball in the 25. And he's taken down at about the 23-yard line. I like how the defense got all up into that option to disrupt it. The offense looks a bit unsettled after losing that battle. We've got third and 12. Ball in the 23. Protection by the offensive line. He has had plenty of time to make decisions back there in the pocket. He splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of the blowout. The sub package in there defensively, and this five wide receiver set. He airs it out. And he went way up, and he's got the interception. They're really digging themselves in a hole now. That interception was not what they were looking for. Yeah, they've had a really bad first half. They're going to have to stage some sort of comeback in the second half. From their own 44-yard line, first down. He wants it all. Almost intercepted. Well, the offense catches a break here. That ball should have been intercepted there by the safety, so the quarterback gets the ball back here for this next down. Got a man. Watch out here. Tackle around the 36-yard line. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him a first down. That's just a nice play. Ball on the 36-yard line. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack. Somehow, he was able to throw the ball away. 
feet wide. And down he goes at the 10. Man, that was an impressive looking play. When you can slice apart a defense like that, it puts a seed of doubt in their mind. From the 10 yard line, it's first down. Quick throw, incomplete, Waddle's receiver. in the Big Ten. This one's been entertaining us all day long. The Wildcats strike through the air, getting into the end zone for a touchdown. The Wildcats are on top, 14-13. People were predicting some upsets this week, but I'd be shocked if that score goes up. Looks like they're ready for the kicks. He really got under that kick. He's to the 20. The 31 yard line. Here's a step in the maturation of a young quarterback. How does he respond to throwing an interception on that last drive? One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. That makes it second and 10. From their own 31 yard line. Second down. Under pressure. Great pressure on the quarterback, forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. That brings us third and ten. Set of downs. From midfield. First down. So we'll probably get one last team to the end zone here before halfback. Going long. That close to being intercepted. We've still got a half of football remaining. The Sooners are up big. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. I really hope you'll stick around and watch the second half of this game. During the second half, I expect Kirk Herbstreit to give us a comprehensive history of every playbook he's ever had in his entire football career dating back to Pee Wee. That would be infinitely more interesting than having to watch the second half of this blowout. <laughs> Definitely, uh, that would be probably more entertaining. Get, we get on games all the time. They start to get out of hand. You got to empty the bucket. So, guys, back to you. Have some fun. Tell me something I don't know. These teams are pretty boring. 
Give me something from the human interest file, Brad Nessler. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. Davis and Pollock, you should be here instead of Herb Street and myself. James Second half just about ready to begin. He really got a hold of that kick. And they can forget about returning this one. Oklahoma is continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude. Almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. Fires quickly, and it's picked off. He's at the 40. He's taken down right around the 34. When it rains, it pours. Are you kidding me? An interception? You're already getting blown out? There's no chance to come back down. four-yard line. First down. Oklahoma looking to put this game away if they score here. Lines up in a five wide set in a defense, anticipating pass here. Right down, right around the 12 yard line. From the 12 yard line, it's first down. A little counter, but he goes nowhere. Third down. Quick strike and it's caught for the touchdown. He's ringing up the points with all these touchdown throws. That's his fourth. All the hard work he puts in is finally paying off. It's been rewarded here today with some pretty good throws leading to some remarkable touchdowns. Makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Longhorns have just run ice cold on offense. They can't seem to get anything going. And right now, they just have to forget the score, forget the clock, just go out there and try to get a first down, try to hope to build a little bit more confidence and continuity on this offense. The offense will take the field, hoping for a better result than their last drive. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. Fires quickly, and he's got his man, and he's tackled at about the 43-yard line. First 
down. time he drops back to pass. Let's see if that throws off his timing. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. Fires it up, and they make the stop around the 47-yard line. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. Mims is the deep man awaiting the return. Talk about a booming punt. My goodness. Again, it's about stressing special teams. That is why a lot of head coaches usually run these units. It's because field position is just so important in the game. This offense threw the ball extremely well on their last drive, and they ended up with a touchdown. And it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. Zips it to the tight end. They bring him down around the nine-yard line. They got four yards on that one. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. Then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up. Oklahoma up by a bunch. Here's a quick throw. He's tackled at the 28-yard line. From their own 28-yard line. First down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Wants to throw outside. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Boy, a golden opportunity missed by the defense. That was a sure interception only to be dropped. First down. Gets it out in a hurry. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. and wonder if this is just a meaningless interception. But if you're the offensive coordinator and especially the quarterback, I don't care how big the lead is. You never want to throw the football to your opponent. It's a mistake by the quarterback, and he'll hear about it from his quarterback coach and his offensive coordinator. Complete brought down. Nothing doing. From their own 31-yard line. Second down.
down. He's knocked out. Second and five. Ball on the 40-yard line. And down he goes at about the 33-yard line. They get about seven yards on the pass and pick up a first down. Nice protection, good pass, and even a better catch. You can't ask for much more than that. And the quarterback didn't waste any time getting rid of that one. He took the snap and he threw it right out there. Second down at seven coming up here. Ball on the 30-yard line. And he just gets rid of it. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Pressure. And he's going to come up with a sack. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback. Not only with the sack in this case, but it seems like the entire game he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there where he doesn't seem to be in rhythm and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. Booming kick. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. And what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kurt. Oh, he's obviously come in here with a plan. He knows what he wants to do, and he's just getting the job done. Let's also give some credit to the offensive line. They've done a really good job of keeping the pressure off of him just long enough to allow him to read the defense, be able to make the right read, and get the ball thrown downfield for big plays. An interception cut this offense last drive short. So I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I wouldn't be surprised if they kept up the pressure and try to cluster this quarterback some more. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 20. Oklahoma looking to build on this commanding lead here. He's going to try and scramble. He lets it fly. Can't connect. He tried to hit his receiver in stride, but overthrew it a little too much. That'll come in time. Just repetition, throwing that same pass over and over, and he'll be fine. Now he tries to buy some time. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. You like the faith he has in his receiver to just put the ball up and let him go get it. From their own 33-yard line. First down. And they'll get him in the backfield.
breaking on the ball and taking it to the house. Man, those pick sixes can really hurt an offense and have a lasting impact. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. The Badgers come into today's game ranked 16th in the nation. Let's take yet another peek at this game. And for Wisconsin, they score through the air. The Badgers are on top, 28-24. All right, thanks, Reese. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. Whoa, he just took a licking. The Longhorns defense really looked pathetic in that first half, Kirk, and now they're doing a nice job. Well, obviously, they've made some adjustments after the first half, and it's paid off for them. I think right now they're tuned in to what this offense is trying to do, and I think they're also just playing a little bit more of a chip on the floor. Oklahoma with a big advantage. Lost the ball. Come on. And it's picked up by one of the linemen. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Head to the fourth, and this one's all but over. Oklahoma's running away with it. 